Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collaboration with the one and only Going Full Nerd. <laughs> um, we have decided to film videos surrounding Agent Carter. So if you are coming from Ed's channel, Going Full Nerd, then welcome. Um, on my channel, I definitely create a lot of beauty looks, and if you guys want to see different beauty looks, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach a minute. I'm trying to reach 50 subscribers, and when I do reach 50 subscribers, I know that's a little bit um, to some people, but if I can reach 50 subscribers, I definitely will host a giveaway, so you guys definitely don't want to miss out on that. So if you guys want to see how I got this Agent Carter inspired look, then definitely keep on watching. All the products will be listed down in the description box down below. And yeah, if you want to find out more information about Agent Carters, then definitely head over to Going Full Nerds page, so that way you guys can find out a little bit more about Agent Carter. It was a lot of fun creating this look, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Bye! Okay, so getting started, I'm going to do my hair first. I'm just going to spray some heat protectant and then brush that through. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide my hair up into smaller sections. I'm doing this because it'll be easier for me to curl my hair and not look so overwhelmed. I know my hair looks a little crazy, it's because I literally brushed out all my curls. The best way to curl your hair for this kind of look would definitely be with second day hair. That would work best so that way the curls hold. After I get them heated up, I'm going to roll them back up and then pin it to my head. And I'm just repeating this process throughout my whole head, working in sections, and I'm going to be doing it in the direction that the, they fall, basically. If you have any questions, just look at the clip and you'll kind of understand what I'm trying to say. go ahead and let this sit until our face makeup is done. So as always, I'm going to start off by priming my face and I'm using the Professional Primer from Benefit. Now in all of the reference photos that I've seen with Agent Carter, her skin looks really flawless and I guess during that time, even in movies, they're, they seem flawless, so I'm going to go ahead and conceal um, any spots on my face that appear darker or cover up any acne scars, um, just so I can achieve a flawless face. And I am trying out a new foundation this time. This is the Dream Mousse Liquid Foundation for Maybelline. It's a little bit darker, um, but I realize I can just add in a BB cream that's a little bit lighter and just make the coverage a little bit more suitable to my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with a beauty blender and then I'm going to continue doing this until I build up the best coverage um, so that way I can achieve that very flawless look. She really doesn't have any extreme makeup going on. So today we're just going to keep it really simple, really classy. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer now. This is also going to act as a base for my eyeshadow.
in with this liquid cream highlighter and I'm going to apply this onto my cheeks. I'm not exactly sure what this brand is because I did get it at Sally's Beauty Supply, but once I find out, I'll definitely leave it in the description down below. Then I'm going to go ahead and with my Kat Von D contour kit with the banana shade, I'm actually going to set my under eye area, but I'm actually going to let that area bake for a while. Um, so that way it can be more intense. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put finishing powder on the rest of my face just to set everything else. Then once we're done with the eyeshadow look, we'll go ahead and dust off the excess powder. So like I said, she doesn't really have a lot going on in her eyes. So I just want to go ahead and just add some dimension into my eyes because I do have pit eyes and I just feel like with any type of look, when I'm using a wing liner, I definitely want my hood to look a little bit pushed back. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with these two palettes just to give me a nice, deep set looking eye. Um, I'll leave the color information in the description below because I can't think of them right off the top of my head which colors I used. I'm not really sure if you can pick up this palette anymore because it was a holiday set from The Rock, but just use any shimmery skin tone color. After I get that on, I am going to go in with this pencil or pen from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I'm going to go ahead and start creating my wing. This is the first time that I've actually done a wing like this on camera. So it was a lot of fun creating and this was actually one of the days where the wings actually wanted to cooperate with me. So I couldn't be more happier. Because with pinup looks, the classic looks, it's all about the wing. The wing is what draws this look together. And the bold lips, but we're not there yet. liquid liner wasn't as bold as I wanted it to, so I went in with a different liquid liner and I made the line a little bit darker. But I still used the pen because it was easy for me to map out where the line was going to be so I could easily follow that line and not make any bad mistakes because everybody knows with eyeliner, with wing liner, it's very easy to go south. So just remember to take your time with it. I'm dusting off the excess, excess powder and I'm going to go ahead and work on my under eyes. And I'm just taking that same brown color from the Naked Basics palette and I'm applying that under there. For mascara today, I'm actually using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and this is really, really great for lengthening your lashes. You can go in with false lashes, but I don't really like putting on false lashes, so I let the um, mascara do the talking for me. So just apply a couple of coats to both your top and lower lashes. It's always a sad day in the world when you get mascara onto your lower lash line, but if that happens to you, don't freak out. Just wait for it to dry and then take a Q-tip and actually wipe it away. It will be easier to do this time and it won't smudge. Now after I get my mascara on, I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face using the Kat Von D Shade and Light um, Contour Kit. And I'm just going to do that to my cheekbones, on my temples, and then my hairline. Also my jawline, and then I'm going to also do my nose as well. Just to make everything look a little more flawless in my opinion. To give me some color back into my cheeks, I'm taking the Kat Von D blush in the color Truth and I'm going to go ahead and apply this onto my cheeks and working it back to my hairline as well. Lately, that's how I've been applying my uh, blush and I've actually been liking it. And then going back into the same palette that I used for the shimmer, I'm going to go ahead and apply that onto the high points of my cheekbones and on my nose and Cupid's bow. Now, this step is totally optional, but my lips were feeling a little bit dry, so I went in with this balm that's actually tinted just to moisturize my lips a little bit before I go in with my liquid lipstick, so that way it's not chipping or you're not seeing any intense lines on my lips. To brighten up 
the lip color a little bit, I'm going in with this Maybelline Lipstick in Vibrant Mandarin. And I'm just going to apply that into the center of my lips to make it a little bit lighter. And then I forgot that I didn't do my eyebrows, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply some NYX Brow Mascara. She has, AJ Carter has really thick eyebrows in all her pictures, so I'm not too worried about making it look too sculpted and defined. And guys, that pretty much wraps up of this uh, makeup look. So then I'm going to go ahead and my hair has plenty of time to cool down. I'm going to take out all of the bobby pins and let the curls fall. I'm not going to take off the bobby pins on my bangs though. I'm going to go ahead and leave that for last. And once I get the bobby pins out, I'm going to go ahead and brush through my hair and just form it. Because we curled it in, it's going to be really easy for the curls to um, curl the way that we want them. So it's just going to take you a lot of time, but just be patient and just work with the curls and they will form together. So the only difference what I'm doing with my bangs is that I'm just teasing it a little bit just to give it some volume. In some of the pictures, Agent Carter does have a lot of volume in her bangs and then some of them not so much. So I kind of went for the not so much, <laughs> but you can do whatever you like, it's your look. And just mold the curls to fit the kind of bangs that you want. And the picture that I'm referencing off of, she kind of has an S-shape bang. And so guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. I really do hope that you enjoyed this look. And please remember to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I am looking at doing a giveaway once I hit 50 subscribers, so you definitely don't want to miss out on that. I post videos every Tuesday. It was a lot of fun creating this look, and if you have any ideas on the next videos you want to see, please leave them down below. And I will see everybody in my next video. Until next time, bye guys!